Rivers basically act as the Earth's circulatory system. It drains waste and sediments out of the land, structuring habitats and building protective wetlands and beaches. Dams act as a plug in the system. However, there is another aspect of rivers that greatly affects the environment, especially on the northeast and the northwest, salmon. When salmon leave their native streams, they're little fish, and after they come back, they're huge. They've increased about 95% of their body mass. What they're doing is scavenging food out of the marine environment and bringing it back inland. That means that a large fish run, the kind that used to happen, would feed the forest, would feed the wildlife, would feed the people, they would essentially fertilize their native home. Anything that blocks the river, like a dam does, limits the access to the world they need to complete their life cycle. Tens of thousands of now endangered sockeye salmon used to make the 900 mile journey to spawn in Idaho's Redfish Lake. In 1992, only a handful of fish made it through the dams in the river system. Most of the dams in the United States are used for the development of power and transportation. The future is not in dams. Let's rethink each dam and determine whether it makes economic, moral and environmental 